Welcome to SolidCam Professor in an interactive one-day training course for iMachining. Now that the 2D portion of the course is completed, you will learn how to use the iMachining 3D technology. iMachining 3D is the newest and most complete addition to the growing iMachining product family from SolidCam. iMachining 3D is an automatic high-speed milling CNC program generator for roughing, rest machining, and semi-finishing of both prismatic and surfaced general-shaped parts. In this exercise, you will first be guided through the CAM part definition process, which is similar to iMachining 2D, but with some notable differences. You will then add an iMachining 3D operation to the CAM part. And during the operation definition, most parameters are explained in detail to show the commands and options available in order to complete a machining task using the iMachining 3D technology. If you haven't already done so, perform step 1 by loading the SOLIDWORKS model used in this exercise. Simply click on the file name exercise8.sldprt. If SOLIDWORKS is not already opened, SOLIDWORKS and the model will launch automatically. In Step 2, the following actions have to be implemented to define the CAM part for iMachining 3D. This particular step is split into two parts. The first part is typical in the CAM part definition process, and the second part explains some of the tolerances that are important in defining the target model and updated stock calculation parameters. Go to the SOLIDWORKS main menu at the top of the screen. Click the Solid CAM field and choose Milling from the new submenu. SolidCam is started and the new Milling Part dialog box is displayed. Using the internal mode, click OK to confirm the CAM part creation and close the new Milling Part dialog box. The Milling Part Data dialog box is displayed. Under CNC Machine, you will see that the G-Milling Post for a 3-axis Haas SS is the default CNC controller selection which was chosen during preparation of the SolidCam settings in exercise number one. Just like in the SolidCam settings, if you click the arrow in the CNC machine area, a list of post processors installed on the system will be displayed. Leave the default selection, G Milling Haas SS 3X. Next, start the coordinate system definition. Click the Define button in the Coordinate System area to define the machine coordinate system. The Coordsys dialog box is displayed. Use the Select Face option to define Coordsys and place Coordsys origin to Corner of Model Box. Click on the top face of the stock model in the SolidWorks graphics area as shown. The coordinate system will appear on the top left corner of the model box with the Z-axis normal to that face. Click OK to confirm the coordinate system definition. The coordinate data dialog box is displayed. Click OK to accept the default Z levels. The machine coordinate system, MAC1 position 1, is created. Click OK to confirm the machine coordinate system and exit the coordinate manager dialog box. Next, define the stock model, which is the initial state of the workpiece prior to any machining. Click the Stock button to start the stock model definition. The model dialog box is displayed. Since there is already a solid body representing the stock material, choose the 3D model mode from the defined by list. Click on the stock model in the SolidWorks graphics area as shown. Solid 1 appears in the type section and the stock model is defined. Set the facet tolerance parameter to 0.01 millimeters. Click OK to confirm the stock model definition.